Fine further here, and today we are talking about trail stands, and I'm here with Improbable Adventuring. Yep. Okay, so in the last video, people asked, uh, why do I not have a center stand? Do you have a center stand? I do not have a center stand. And I don't have a center stand because A, it's expensive. Uh, How expensive is it? We calculated in beers, didn't we? Yes, we, uh, <laughs> we, we will have some figure in beers in terms of how expensive it is. Considering that in Morocco, a beer costs uh, 1.47 euros. It's a lot of beers. Um, I used to work with other center stands, so it would be just extra weight. And you don't have it because... I don't have a center stand because I ride a Suzuki DRZ400 and like most small to mid-sized dual sport bikes, it's not even an option that you could buy. So you need to have some sort of alternative to get the rear wheel or the front wheel up so you could change your tires or maintain the chain. So basically motocross people don't need center stands. Motocross people <laughs> do not need center stands. They just wheelie the whole way through. They just wheelie the whole way through. Okay. Let's talk about how the, uh, our trail stands work and there are commercial alternatives and they work exactly the same way. Um, so mine, two pieces of tube, this is a square profile, one is aluminium and one is uh, steel. I just uh, put them inside each other, lock them with the lock nut in a desired position, take the fork in which goes on the bike and that's it. That's super easy how it works. How's yours? Yours is like fancy one. So mine is a somewhat similar theory. Um, because it's made out of a crutch, it has these tabs and holes that were part of the original crutch unit. You push them in and you adjust them like so. So you want to have the shorter length for the rear wheel and the longer length for uh, the front wheel. Yeah, we decided to have a measuring contest and Hold on, hold on, uh, one more piece. Well, I'm gonna cheat. Oh, that is totally cheating. <laughs> you, you are, you are just patting, the, uh, patting it. Obviously, the actual length that you want to have is going to be dependent on your bike yeah. and its dimensions. And where you put it as well. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, what I like about the crutch jack, uh, how improbably venturing calls hers, is that she cannot lose anything while I can actually lose uh, my lock nut. Uh, which is a little bit unfortunate as well as a fork. Yes, I would definitely lose those bits because um, I lose everything, particularly bolts. Yeah. Uh, so uh, you made it out of crutches. Uh, the granny didn't need them anymore or what? Yes, yeah, so <laughs> I actually bought a pair of crutches. I found some on Facebook Marketplace. They were five quid and I went to go pick it up. The lady was very confused why a young uh, mobile woman well, maybe not so young anymore, was buying a pair of crutches, but it worked pretty well. Um, yeah. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good story. I don't have a good story about this. This is just a piece of scrap metal from my father's garage. Mine has another use, which I like on the uh, homemade ones, and that's it, that I can actually use it as the extension for my um, wrench and uh, it has double extension because I like that quite quite nicely fitting. So that's another good thing about mine. Uh, can you do that with yours? Yeah, actually I remember seeing you use it that way on the last trip when we were in India, I believe, and I yeah. thought that was actually a brilliant idea because my uh, trail set of tools is obviously my uh, spanner is not that long. It doesn't give me a lot of leverage. I'm not the strongest person in the world. So you could basically any sort of round thing on it. It's not quite as secure my as fits, yours is. Yeah, yours my, fits my, my much fits better where well, mine's a little yeah. bit. But it's enough to get you that little extra leverage for bolts that are particularly stuck on. Very good. So I guess uh, people ask how I use it on Tenere. Let's, yeah. let's go and show them. Let's go. Okay, how to use this trail stand on the Tenere. Two places. One place is in a swing arm to lift the uh, rear wheel and another place I use is around the bash plate area to lift the front wheel. The reason why I like mine instead of improbably adventuring one is that I have this fork and I can actually squeeze it into the holes of the bash plate or I can anchor it uh, on the uh, lip of the swing arm. So let's, let's try to put the rear wheel up. So what I'm going to do, I have the rack, I lift the bike 
I put the stand down, and that's it. Ta-da! Nothing complicated. It's actually really stable. I mean, not really stable, but it's reasonably stable that I will be able to work on the bike with the chain or do the puncture. Uh, in order to loosen the swing arm, you obviously loosen the swing arm first and then you will take the wheel off. So for the front, um, what I do, and now the important bit is that the motion of how you push needs to be that way. So what I do is I'm going to do that and that leaves the front wheel and then I find in the bash plate place where I can put it and that's it. And now I can work on my front wheel. Um, yeah, and so I'll demonstrate also on Tenere because unfortunately my DRZ is in pieces up in the garage. It's very similar, but because I have the rubber feet, I tend to put it at the bottom of the swing arm. So let's see if I could actually lift Tenere up. There we go. Okay, I got it. Same thing. It's actually pretty stable. I could put it in a slightly more stable position, but that's good enough yeah. for now. Um, unfortunately, I'm not sure I could pick up the front on my own to see if this even works. I've never actually tried it. So can you give me a hand to pick up the front? Yeah. Let's see if this goes. Yeah. Now we can probably find a place to put it, can we? Yeah, is that? Uh, no, that's going to no. slip. Well, I guess that the problem is that um, because of you have the rubber feet, uh, it mine kind of goes into the holes in the dash plate like this. And then I can use that very easily. Yeah. While you have a bigger, um, bigger area, so you need to find something flat. Flat. I need to find something flat, which my yeah. angle and my bash plate is is slightly different than this. Yeah. Let's try it again. Okay. Let's try it again. Lift Hold it. on. Hold on. Okay. Down. Ah! Oh, see, it totally see. does work on Tenere. <laughs> <laughs> So here you have it, both Whoops! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I think that was a demonstration that yes, it is stable, but obviously it's not the center stand. So you have to find a really solid and strong position for it if you're taking the wheels off and all yeah. that. And give it a bit um, of a wiggle before you yeah. actually take any wheels off. Also make sure you loosen everything before you take the wheels off. Um, so that's it. That's the very quick video on the trail stands. And the crutch stand, or crutch, crutch, crutch jack, <laughs> crutch jack, and um, see you next time.